a while ago, uh, Teresa, one of my lovely followers, hello Teresa, said, show us your dinner, Kate. <laughs> so tonight I'm going to show you everything that I've picked from the garden and uh, what I'm going to eat for my tea tonight. So I went round the garden earlier on and I picked some lettuce leaves. Um, ordinary cut and come again lettuce in there. And then if I can find any, there's some of these, which are sunflower sprouts. So I've just picked these just now and I've washed them in a bit of water and then I'm going to spin them in this salad spinner. So we'll let that spin. So these are my sprouting jars, is, um, alfalfa sprouts. So I put a few alfalfa seeds in here and then every day, two or three times a day, I just give it a good sploosh round like that, drain it off just drain it there for a moment I'll show you drain it off like that through this um, mesh at the top there these are great jars these and then put it back on the rack like so polish those off tomorrow that's the new one that I've just started off so the salad leaves are there I'll put those out in a minute and then in here what I've got in here I've just been outside and I've picked some radish these are such fabulous quick crops to grow just so quick um you put them in the ground and not that many days later you're eating okay so i don't want all of these so i'm just going to cut a few i keep all of these little scraps here and put them in my compost heap which is there so the radishes are going to go let's get my plate back the radishes are going to go on there as well Today I've sewn together most of the blue flying goose quilt. Most of it, not all of it. Um, I'll do the rest tomorrow. And what I'm going to do with these then is just tear them up. They're clean really, they barely needed cleaning. I'm going to tear them up, put them on the plate. Ah. <sighs> I think life will be easier if I just put them in here and give them all a good toss around. Put them on my plate in a minute. So what I've also done today, uh, I have an honesty box system for my eggs, for people who come, walkers or people who come by, friends, whatever. And if I'm not home, they can just help themselves to eggs. And I had this chest of drawers well, today I painted it pink. Because pink's a good colour. And then as I was painting it pink, I thought, I think this probably needs some yellow as well. So I painted it pink and yellow. I'll show you a picture of it here. Okay, so that salad's tossed round nicely now. That's actually a huge salad, but it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to dry, dry fry some um, halloumi. Maybe half this packet. I absolutely adore halloumi. I'm going to cook this gently and then sprinkle it all over the top of the meal. I'll tell you what, before we fry the halloumi, I'm going to toast some nuts in here. So some pumpkin seeds. I need to fill that one up. A few pumpkin seeds, just enough for tonight. <coughs> pumpkin seeds, some sunflower seeds. Need to top it in cashew nuts. Running out of them. 
these are pistachios, just a few of those. Hardly any, just a few. What else have we got? Um, that'll do. And some sesame seeds. Just a few sesame seeds. Now, what I'm going to do with those. So there they are. They're just in a frying pan with no oil, no nothing. I'll put the halloumi in this frying pan in a few minutes. I'm just going to put those over a dry heat, really quite hot, and keep an absolute close eye on them because they will burn in a second. I keep a real close eye on them because they will absolutely catch and burn in a second. When those are cooked, there's two things I could do with them. I would either, well, there's more than two, but I could either put a little dash of <coughs> maple syrup on, which makes them delicious, or a little dash of soy sauce, which makes them delicious in a different way. So sweet or salty. So I think we'll go soy sauce tonight. Just put in a little pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt in there as well from this cool little pot that my friend at um, ceramics made isn't it cool I love it so a little tiny bit of sea salt in with the nuts and what time is it half past seven I'm gonna go to bed after I've eaten this <laughs> I'm really tired again uh, but it's good I've had a good day today I've done loads If you turn your back on these things, they're gone in a second. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Can you see the steam coming off that? And now the, the fun bit, okay. It's just to put, not even a teaspoon. Of soy sauce in there. Give them a really good scoop round in the pan and then into the bowl so that then I can do the halloumi. There. That looks great doesn't it? And I'll sprinkle that on top of my my meal. Now in this same pan, doesn't need to get a wash, a little tiny bit of olive oil, hardly any. And the pan's nice and hot. And then one of the things I like to use is uh, chilli flakes. These are from Waitrose, they're really nice. Chilli flakes in a little bit of oil. They get, you have to mix them up because they get um, separated out. So I'm going to put, what, not even a half a teaspoon of chilli flakes in there, followed immediately by the halloumi. The way I cook rice, this is the short grain brown rice that I absolutely adore. And I don't know where I learned this method, but it's I've always done it and it always works absolutely brilliantly. And so in here, there's one cup of rice and two cups of boiling water, same cup, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and then you put the lid on and you let it cook for half an hour. Don't look at it. And then at the end of half an hour, you turn it off the heat and then put a tea towel between, a nice absorbent tea towel between the pan and the lid and leave it on the heat, but with this heat turned off. I have an electric pan. It wouldn't work with gas, I guess. And just leave it there till I'm ready to serve it. And what the tea towel does, it absorbs all the extra, extra moisture so that it sucks the moisture up into the tea towel and makes the grains lovely and separate and delicious. Ok, 
Okay, nearly ready to go. So whilst that carries on cooking its last little bit, <coughs> I shall toss this a bit more. There's a hell of a lot of salad there. I might just have some of that. I'm going to serve it out onto my plate. Make sure I've got some of everything. The radishes have fallen to the bottom because they're heavy. <laughs> now I'm going to dress it with this um, salad dressing, which is olive oil, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of um, maple syrup, a little bit of grain mustard, a little bit of that, salt and pepper, what else is in there? That's pretty much it. That just sits up there. Okay, that's nearly ready. So I'm tired. I'm going to eat this, edit this, stick it up and go to bed. Tomorrow I shall finish that blue indigo quilt. Does, didn't have the energy for the final push tonight. It's going to be great. Okay, halloumi, nearly done. Let's give that a final blast. Now let's have a quick look at this rice. I'm going to serve up my rice here. Can you see that? Some lovely individual grains. That's all I want. I'm going to put the rest of it back here with the towel on and that'll be lovely for breakfast. Now, I don't do this in the summertime so much. But in the winter, in the winter time, what I might do is make extra rice like that. And then in the morning, I'll make it with my porridge with uh, organic oats and that stuff and some uh, lovely almond milk or cashew milk or something like that, which I really like. So that's good. That's done. I'm going to say that halloumi will do nicely now as well. Let's get it out with this spoon. Stick it on the top here. Oh, that halloumi is perfect. Perfect. We'll sprinkle some nuts over the top. Especially over the rice. I like the rice and the nuts together. And that is my supper. Thanks for asking me to do that, Teresa. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.